Welcome back to Ebony Island. Uh, first thing we're going to do today is get the couple of straw bales off our field that we harvested. And then we're, I, we need to spread lime on that field and I want to mulch it and potentially fertilize it. I'm not sure. We'll get it ready for sowing next time. And then we'll probably go to sleep sell the silage that we have and use that to buy the next field which there's oats and sorghum in the two fields next to the field that we own over here the wheat field and I think they're both going to be ready next month I think let's see right now is do, 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 do. yes potentially I guess they could have one more month. Where's the sorghum? Yeah, so that's either next month or the month after as well. So, pretty quickly. But I want to buy one of those two fields in front of us there. And... Get expanding. Buy it before it gets harvested. That way we can harvest it ourselves and make a little money back on it right away. I'm not really sure where I'm going to put these. There is one right here. Let's just put these next to this, I guess. Oh, come on. Get off of there. There we go. Maybe I shouldn't have gone with the single bale spike. It's okay. Not like we have a ton of bales. So we'll get these out of the way, then I'll attach the, uh, the knife roller there, and we'll get this mulched. Actually, let's lime it first. Spread lime, and then we'll mulch it, and then I'll see what else we need to do to it today. Probably not a lot. I just want to get it starting to get where it needs to be. I think it'll be, what is it, a month or two before we can, do, 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 yeah, two months before we can sow wheat in that field again. So let's get this front loader put away. There we go. We need to refill our line, which was, oh, which one is that this one? Yes, okay, we do not need that much. Let's go 2,000 liters. Try not to spend too much of our money, that way we can make sure we can buy the field. Back right up to this. Fill it up, all right. Let me go lime this field. Yeah, I think we'll call that good enough. Stick this back in here.
And then where's our there it is. The night roller. I wonder if this would work. I think this implement's actually supposed to go on the front. It's right on the front. I don't think I've ever run it on the front before. Let's see if that helps getting into corners and stuff. Should work fine, right? Yeah. All right, let me get this done. Well, with that done, I realize I probably ought to cultivate as well before I try to plant on it like it is and waste a bunch of seed, I'm not actually planting anything. So let's park this. That seemed to work all right, except for it makes it much harder to steer with that on the front. But otherwise, it wasn't bad. It was kind of like plowing. Like if you've ever plowed snow. Not a bad deal. All right. Got the cultivator. I'll get this cultivated and then we'll go to bed. And we'll see if we can sell our silage. Let's go. I think I got everything there, so get this put away, we'll go to bed, and then hopefully our silage will be ready to sell. 
Let's see. Yeah, this fail do. We'll hook up. Where did I leave that silage trailer? Over in the corner here? Yeah. Look at me go. Remembering things. There we go. All right, bedtime. 10 o'clock in the morning. That seems like bedtime to me. I think that's all we needed on there, right? Do, do, do. We are cultivated. Mulched. Doesn't need plowing. It's just a couple tiny spots with lime. That's fine. It's good, it's good, it's good. We'll wake up at 8 a.m. Try again. Briefly rained overnight. I was hoping, oh no, don't rain and let us not be able to harvest. Okay, so we have silage. Where are we selling our silage today? Silage, silage. There you are. Uh, do, 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 farm productions. Is this up in that corner? That one. Yes, that one up there. All right. I'll head up there and I'll see you there. Silage. Silage, go! Oh, yes, now that's what I'm talking about. $57,990. That gives us plenty to buy that field, because I think the field's only 45 or something. Uh, let me go back to... Yeah, see, they're both ready to go. So is that one. Do we want to expand the grass? I think we're going to buy one of these. So this one's 44000 This one's 55000 Let's go with this one, just because that way it's, it's just the one that's right next to the field that we already have. We can only buy one. It'll leave us, what, 33000 so We'll buy that one. Yes, we want to buy. And then, what is this drawing that was? Oats. Oats. So are wild oats. All right, let me get this back to the farm. I'll grab the harvester, and I'll meet you over at our new oat field. to open us up a way into the field that way we don't have to go up and try to loop around that corner this is the field I bought right owned by you yes nice okay so let's get harvesting this is another field that I don't think we're going to be able to use um does this have to unfold it does not I don't think we'll be able to use uh, AI for because the hedges are too close to the field. And I don't want to get rid of all the hedges on the map because they give it that quaintness. So I'll go ahead and get this harvested. We'll, we'll zip through this and I'll see you when we're done. See how much money we get off this.
Okay, so we ended up with just over 6,000 liters of oats. That's uh, kind of disappointing. But let's see where we can sell it. Oh, oats are pretty expensive. Cereal factory, where are you? Exploring the map through selling things. Cereal factory, way up in the corner. Okay. I think we're going to go anti-clockwise around the map this time. Just because we haven't been that way. Yeah, that's a good enough reason for me. Well, I will drive over to the cereal factory and I'll meet you there. just a pretty map I like it a lot oh and there's a collectible over here 7687 that's not bad uh, let's see if we pull up like these and we do a little backing there's a fence there but that's okay I just need to get this over here We'll use our tractor as a ladder. Boy, that factory is loud. Da 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 da. Five thousand. There are nine more pigs to be found. We're too tight. We're too tight. Nope, we got it. We got this all day long. Very nice. So we're at 45,000. How much is that other grass field? 36,000. Ooh, what's on it right now? Oh, corn. Is that corn ready to harvest? That corn is ready to harvest. Sweet. Let's buy it. Boop. We're going to buy that. And then... So next time we'll uh, probably bale up all that straw. We will harvest the corn. And then that'll be the last field that we fold into the grass fields. So I know the, the one of them needs a plowing, doesn't it? Oop, nope, back. There we go. Yeah, the last one we put in there needs plowing, so we'll get rid of the hedge in between, and we'll plow that whole area there. And then once that grows and we harvest it the first time, then we'll mulch the whole thing after the next harvest. That way, um, that way it'll stay mulched, and we'll get that extra two percent yield. And that'll be that for grass, and then we'll continue to work on buying the the other crop fields, and we'll keep those all crops. And then once we're done buying fields, we'll be into the seriously making money portion of this plan. The only reason I'm leaving them as crop fields is because it's funner to have a variety than it is to just make silage out of everything to make the money that we need for logging. But, that's the plan. Get that, fold it into the grass, continue getting crop fields, which with the full grass fields fully fertilized and mulched and getting 100% yield, we should make money hand over fist on the silage. 
and then make a little money here and there on the crops just for variety and so it should quickly we should quickly be able to buy the remaining fields and make more and more money as we go and then save up the what was it half a million for the one what is this plot down here looks like half a million dollars yeah five hundred and seventy seven thousand dollars so pretty expensive but i think we'll be able to save that up quick once we get this fully functional and that'll give us all that land to use as we see fit once we start harvesting the wood because once we start doing that we'll probably we'll build a landing down there on one of those fields and eventually we'll build our own lumber mill down there our own sawmill and maybe carpentry as well what do we got because we have platinum expansion and everything yeah so we can make all sorts of things we'll look at the price oh that needs metal so does furniture Ooh, we can make flooring I mean, we could even make a mine shaft with an iron furnace if we wanted to. Ooh, we could do paper factory. So we'll have to look at the price of all that and see what's the best as far as inputs versus outputs. Paper rolls. Art and rolls, those are pretty expensive, and those only take straight trees. Maybe we'll make a paper mill. I haven't done a paper mill. That could be pretty good. And then I wonder hold on. What we'll buy? Is that okay? Farmer's market. Farmer's market always needing rolls, giant rolls of paper, you know. <clears throat> Yeah, anyway, so we might do that. Build a paper mill just because it's something different. Something different than doing the regular sawmill, you know? And, uh, yeah. So that's the plan. We'll get there eventually. Getting there a little at a time. But that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm just going to leave this hooked up because we will go and harvest that corn next time and we'll need this bin to put our corn in so yeah have a wonderful day i hope to see you next time and that's it i'm out of here goodbye